Hey, what's up, everybody? Just coming back with another brief video. Well, this is definitely, I should say, it's not going to be brief. I'm actually doing a review on a PUA uh, video that I was just watching. I had been watching quite a few of them, and I was like, you know, this is primarily the problem we, we see with what we see today on how people, I should say, excuse me, let's reiterate this, on how men interact with women. And so I just wanted to show you very quickly. I want you to see what it should look like, what should look like male-female interaction. I want you to pay attention on why validation doesn't work and how the women that you interact with should interact with you. So I just want you to particularly pay attention to this picture here. So as you can see, this woman here is very much engaged with this gentleman. I have no idea if they're a boyfriend and girlfriend, if they just met or if they're out on a date. The only thing that does matter is what are the circumstances in which they're finding each other at this moment. And so it's very particular, it's very important to keep in mind who is engaging who, right? Who is invading whose space? And so you can see very clearly, looks like he's holding his drink in either his, his, his left hand, his right hand might be leaning up against the bar or it might be on her waist i can't see it but i can't tell at the very bottom of the picture kind of like where her elbow is supposed to be that there's a glass and it's his glass but what you can clearly see is her hand on his shoulder her body leaning against him and she is whispering in his ear right trying to get his attention she wants to say something maybe it's something you know very flirtatious very sensual very sexual she's trying to to get his attention and obviously by her body expression she is interested and so in this instance who is validating who? Right? Clearly, the woman is totally enamored with the guy that she's with. And so this is why I say it's important to only approach women who, in essence, are validating you by either a glance from across the room or a smile, you know, something that shows that they're trying to engage you, right? Most women are not going to come right up to you and try to kick it to you right like they used to say back in the days they're not going to come up to you and try to spark up a conversation or they just might say hey where you're from like it's usually very subtle unless that person is like very outgoing and usually um it's someone that you're not particularly going to be interested in talking to because well i'm not going to get into looks in this uh, particular video but the reason i was bringing this up is because a lot of the PUA advice on YouTube and in the, the dating world in terms of information that is available to men is wholly inaccurate of how male-female uh, interaction works, how sexual chemistry works. And so I just want you to pay attention. I was watching this video. It's entitled From Boring Conversation to Sex. It's by this guy, Todd V. Dating. The reason I'm bringing this up as a MGTOW is because I live my life single. I'm 39 years old, Hispanic, been living in Manhattan for the past like seven years now. And I have no interest in dating, which is part of MGTOW. I am interested in having kids, but definitely not uh, in the United States. I might take that out, but that's a whole topic for a different video. But I still am interested in dating. And so for those MGTOW men who aren't interested in marriage, but are still interested in interacting with women and want to know what not to do and how to interact with women, should pay attention to this video that we're doing right here. I want you to pay close attention not only to the way he acts, but also his line of reasoning. It's very, it's very important because uh, I see this, right? If you're a guy like me, like I do travel a lot. I travel probably about every two and a half months to every two months. I travel outside the country. Um, I go on little small vacations throughout the year. And of course, in my local area, I do go out on occasion, probably maybe once a month. I'll go out um, if I feel like it. Um, but what I do see, I see a lot of males, a lot of guys who go into the bar, club, lounge scenes, and they just don't know how to interact with women they can't tell when a woman is particularly interested in them they can't tell when a woman is not interested in them you know they have these poor women like running away from guys and they're like pursuing and it's like bro she's not into you just let it go um, but I really wanted just to to discuss this so we're gonna go into this video real quick um, you're gonna see an interacting from an interaction from a PUA and 
just a regular bar chick. Nothing fancy, not some really hot chick, but this is kind of what you will always see when you watch. And I want you to pay attention. If you're a guy who's interested and you look at other PUA stuff on how to meet women, how to talk to women, and, and things that they talk about, whether it's, you know, frame or presentation, game, etc. Like, all that shit doesn't matter. We're going to go, we're going to delve into this one. Let's pause music and let's jump right in. Let's transition over and something take a listen. Amazing. So how long have you lived in my city? How long have you lived in my city? What's your city? New York. Where are you from? I live here. I'm from Colorado Ridge, You're really fucking good at that. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, where's your city? Did you grow up here? Did you? So I want you to pay attention again, like I always say, never approach a woman from the back or from the side. You always want to have a clear angle that she's seen you. She's given you the eye. She's either smiled at you from across the room. There's something that draws you into the engagement and we're picking it up. Probably we're not in the beginning of the engagement, but from the way that they're standing, you can see in this very picture, they're standing side by side. He's not showing his chest. He's like more standoffish. She's very standoffish. You can see every time she leans in to say something, she leans right back against the bar. You can see it looks like she has her arms folded. We're not even going to talk about what she looks like. It's irrelevant. The only thing that is relevant is how a man should engage with a female and knowing signs whether a person is into you or not and why PUA validation doesn't work, especially if you're a guy who's looking to meet women who are a bit more beautiful, who are used to guys with either money or very good looks, but not necessarily know how to interact with women, how the mistakes that they make. And so I want you to pay attention. You know, everybody in New York, I'm impressed. This is interesting in the sense of how not interesting it is. It's interesting. And I and I agree with him. It is a very boring conversation, which in particular why I don't have these kind of conversations at the bar. One, it's hard to hear people. Two, you end up having to invade the other person's personal space. You know, you have to lean in, talk to them in the ear, um, to just even to hear them. And if the music is blaringly loud, like it is in a lot of the New York clubs, it's just like it's pointless. It's pointless to sit there and try to have a conversation and they'd be yelling at each other, which is why I recommend the, hey, what's your name? I just came to get your phone number and dip, right? But you're going to pay attention to his rationale. It's a very boring conversation, um, but the what's even better is really the rationale. Boring, really and this is from a PUA who is trying to teach men how to kind date. Of surprised me. Um, the girl seemed a little like uptight and stuff like that. Looking back, knowing what I know. And again, like I said, when you catch a woman from either from the side or from the back and you walk up to her, unless you are like overwhelmingly attractive in her eyes. Now, for me, I don't care what he looks like because I'm not the guy. I'm not the person who would be going out with him. We're talking about from the female perspective. So unless you are in her eyes really good looking or she finds you really attractive approaching a woman from the side or from the back usually is going to put her into a, like a negative state right and it's just because i mean women get hit on time and time again from the moment that they're like hit puberty like guys are hitting on them especially for women who go into like the bar and club scene like they're bombarded by Guys who are interested in talking to them, it's like a nonstop, hey, want dick? No? All right, have a good night. And then they go about their business. But I want you to pay attention a little more. This is going to be a little bit. We're going to no, no, dive right in. This is quite a long like video. A bit, kind of overwhelmed, intimidated, that sort of thing. But at the time, she just seemed very uptight. It seems like she was being very logical and questioning. What you want to avoid is getting into a logical debate, right? So even if you are right, and I say this with emphasis, even if you are right, you get into a logical debate with a girl and prove you're right, you're wrong in terms of actually having it go somewhere. Why would you, you even be, be having a logical debate with a girl at a bar who you're interested in getting her number? But anyways. 
possible, is chill about everything, not getting into confrontation about bullshit that doesn't matter. Now, hold your frame, yes. Don't give in and like be be following and definitely don't like supplicate and be try hard to like make the girl like you and stuff like that. And I want you to pay attention. He says, don't try to supplicate. Don't try to act like a try hard, like you're trying to get her like you. So we're going to jump right back into the next portion of the interaction. There, he routinely breaks it up and then kind of goes in with his thoughts on what was going on. It's an illogical second. I know. I heard we this amazing, witty, kind of feisty girl. See, there, see he, he, he jumps right into Valen because he's talking about her, right? He says, I heard there was this amazing, witty, kind of feisty girl named whatever, right? And I had to come over. Right, so he just finished saying, don't validate, right? Don't try to suck up to the person. But he just paid her a compliment. Again, I want you to pay attention also to the body language that's going on within the video between the two. Now, when you're looking back at what we were originally talking about, right? When you're looking at the, the body language that's displayed here, right? And then compare that to the body language that you're seeing here. Right, you can see she, every time she dips back. She, she leans back up against the bar. She's trying to create space. And again, he's like, she's like, why are you trying to pretend like you're from your Newark? You're an out of towner. Like you don't live here. You're not a local, um, which is which happens often. Right. You get a lot of people that are bridge and tunnel that come into the city. Um, and a lot of times women like meeting local guys because they like, you know, you, it's easier to go out with guys that live in the city. Also, because the city is primarily made up of women. You have a large portion of gay men that live kind of over like in Hell's Kitchen area and of course throughout the rest of the city. So it is a bit harder to meet guys that you're particularly interested in. And so this is what she's talking about. She's like, why don't you just be straightforward? Why don't you just be direct? Why are you like saying you're a local when you're not? You know, you're a foreigner from Colorado and you're just here with like some of your guy friends, etc. And so this is all his way of, again, validating. And there you go. He says, he says, no, I'm not really from anywhere, to be fair. Like, I probably travel to a different city every year, right? Again, that's him validating himself. So he, in essence, he's trying to say, you know, I travel a lot. Um, I'm just here, like I'm in a new city, and then I move to another city because I can afford to move around. And so, and this is his way of, in essence, validating himself to make himself look good in her eye. So here you see she was being like logical and confrontational and I was so chill with it and didn't care. And just hand He cared. Oh yeah. He definitely cared. Handled it. It just pointed out kind of the disparity. It pointed out how like uptight she was being and she actually apologizes to me. Now she's qualifying herself to And she wasn't being uptight. I mean, he was just not being genuine, which is what she was annoyed at. She was saying, you know, why don't you just say you're from Colorado and you're living in the, and you just moved to the city and you're here with some of your guy friends instead of saying, you know, I'm a local, this is my city, etc. And she was just like, shit, I grew up here. How the fuck is this your city? Like, you just got here. Right? And he's just like pretending like that this isn't really important to him he's like you know i try not to let it bother me etc uh, me getting into my frame etc right um so again this is starting to look good at least on a friendly level see she says say that that's much more interesting right you so you hear the female just saying just be you just tell the truth just be genuine don't try to game me Right. She said, I don't know. I don't like talking too much about myself. And this is him saying, I don't like talking too much about myself right away. Just cu just because, you know, and I want you to pay attention. Right. So the first thing he said was, you know, don't make it seem like you're trying to validate. And then he goes and validates. And then he says, I don't like to talk too much about myself. And then I don't like talking too much about myself.
but I'm glad you find me intriguing. <laughs> Is I, I would say the same thing. So we have quite a bit of friendly, I guess, kind of pointless conversation, but at the very least, she is engaging him, right? So you're trying to salvage the approach in essence, right? Um, and she's offering a bit more information about herself that she goes skiing or whatever, like they're talking about his hometown. She makes it seem more interesting than he does. So she's more interested and where he's from, and he's trying to downplay Colorado and like New York is the shit, right? Colorado's boring. And she's like, no, Colorado's beautiful. I went, you know, I went there with some people and I was, you know, I had to, got to watch some people do some skiing, which isn't a big deal. I mean, shit, I've gone skiing, I've gone skiing. It can be dangerous, not looking to break a leg or anything, but it's just interesting to find, you know, his reaction about what she's stating. And then there's, again, another form of validation. He said in the very outset, don't make it seem like you want to show how interested you are. And then here he is offering her a trip to Colorado. It's like, hey, if I ever take you out to Colorado, then you need to participate. Talk about validation. Okay, so here... Um, she just said some ridiculous thing, right? I went to Colorado and I watched people ski. That's just weird, right? She didn't participate. That, that's weird to me, right? Um, it's also an indicator of her personality that she's not particularly super adventurous, right? At least maybe she's adventurous in sometimes, but at this moment she's not feeling particularly adventurous yet. And it makes sense. She just came off of work. Or maybe she just doesn't know how to ski. Her friend kind of brought her out to party. It seems like her friend's the one kind of like getting the, the, the you know, pitcher of bottles or the, sorry, bucket of bottles. Um, and so, you know, maybe she's, she's you know, not quite in a party mood yet. She barely knows me. Maybe she's a little nervous, et cetera. Um, and this is a good indicator. It doesn't mean she doesn't like me. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that she likes you. And this is very important because he's not picking up on any of her body language, right? I mean, girls in particular, especially in a bar scene, you know, you've, maybe they've had a little bit of drink. People become quite friendly, right? A conversation doesn't necessarily mean the person is into you. The person could just be friendly. And it, unless you're like totally unattractive to the person, you know, they'll people are willing to engage you, especially in New York. If you go out a lot, you'll realize people in New York are very friendly, especially in the bar and nightlife scene. I mean, we won't have sex eventually. It doesn't mean nothing will go down. But um, it does mean that I don't need to be pushing hard right now. It means that I need to be a little patient. He's been pushing pretty hard. If you've watched, he just the initial approach, approaching a female from the side, from the back without having eye contact he's not facing her it's very important right if you approach someone that has given you eye contact you immediately either face the person showing that you're comfortable um you know having a face-to-face -face conversation and not this conversation from the side of course you see every time she'll kind of move into him because it's loud so she has to get a little closer to to speak to him and then she quickly leans right up against the bar so she's not invading his space in a sexual way or in an interested way. Yeah, she's having a conversation with him. And this is what I mean when you when it takes way too long to to pull a female who has low interest. It needs that I, I really need to build the emotions and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, but then this thing here where I'm setting a frame. If and again, the the emotions that you're looking to elicit are primarily related to physical attraction, right? It's the first thing that you notice. And the only thing that will escalate that attraction 
is by you not validating the female. And it really, it gets really interesting towards the end. And this is what I, I really want to bring this home for a lot of you guys, for a lot of you guys who aren't interested in marriage or kids, but you still want to go out there and date. Do not do this. Pay attention because it's very subtle. If you, you know, you come out to Colorado with me, we do something, you're gonna have to participate. Now I'm setting up this we frame, I'm setting up the idea that we could do things together. I'm, I'm planting this sort of mutual future, but I'm doing it. Again, he's, he's planting this mutual future, right? She's not, she hasn't shown any sort of interest in traveling with him or going on a date with him. There's been no sexual tension between the two of them. Not from what I, for not from what I can see from, you know, I, I go out a lot, I meet a lot of women. This is not what I would call sexual tension. Again, pay attention to <laughs> that picture, right? This is sexual tension. This is hand on the shoulder, her body pressed up. She's whispering to his ear. You can see the smile on her face. He's enjoying what he's hearing. That's sexual intention. This is not sexual tension. In a way where I'm making fun of her. I'm still making fun of her for not participating. I'm still making fun of her for watching people ski. And so that is the main topic of conversation. The fact that I've implied us being together is just a side note. It's almost thrown in as like a, a joking sidebar, but... Females pay attention to that. They pick that shit up real clear. He thinks he's being subtle. She knows w where he's coming from. And you'll see it by the way she acts. It is present in the conversation, right? You can't unimagine the image of me inviting her to Colorado, the image of her traveling with me, et cetera. So there's this image of us together that has been injected in the conversation without me being try hard, if anything, while teasing her, while pushing her away. Again, validation, right? She says, I better see a gold medal. And he says, well, you, you should see me at the luge. Right? It was pointless. It was like a pointless interject that he, that their conversation is just bullshit. It's just fucking bullshit. It's like tired. Just like, just listening to it is annoying. And even he's like annoyed by it. It's like, whatever. Anyway. Again. He's breaching the personal space. It's not her. It's him. Now, a lot of guys think that that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to lean in and, and, and break the touch barrier uh, as an indicator that you're interested. Again, the moment you approach a woman, she already knows. In the beginning of this video, he says, or, or I think it's later on, he, he talks about how you know you don't want to have the female think that you're coming over with an agenda. They fucking know you're coming over with an agenda. They know that you're interested in them. Imagination running with American flag and all. American flag and all. American flag. American flag right there. Again, he, he makes the conversation sexual. She does it. He does. It's like an arrow with an American flag right there. And so this was like a, a weird conversation okay, so and he even sure. acknowledges it. Like he, mis, he exactly misunderstood what happened. I think her. she like looked me up and down in a suggestive way or she kind of looked towards like my crotch area or something like that when I mentioned the luge thing. So I misinterpreted it as though she was like imagining me in like a skin tight suit or something like that. I'm not quite sure how that joke worked out because you can't see the gestures, but given the body language, that's kind of what we're joking about. Sure, he, and then he, we're joking he about, knew like, what the fuck was going on American there. American flag, you know. So we're going to skip ahead. My crotch. And then so she says, yeah. Good for you, right? That shit just like flew over her head. She was like, I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about, but yeah, good for you. Again, pay attention to the body language. Pay attention to that body language. Again, like I, like I keep telling you, if you guys are on a date and you're going out with a girl who's interested in you, this is what you should see. This is, this, these are the type of interactions that you're looking for. Well, with a female, whether you're at a bar or your lounge in your house, um, if you're out, if you're going out to dinner, you know you want to be selective about where you're going, but you want to pay attention. Body language is important. Who's who? I'm gonna pay, pay, pay attention to this, right? So some guy comes over that I guess knows him, and she's like, "Who's this guy?" Actually, he uh, says, he's hanging out with me. And my 
says, this is a friend of mine. He's actually, he's hanging out with me um, and my friends in New York. He says, I know him. Uh, I know him from LA. I know him from LA originally. He's super chill. So now he's validating his friend, right? He's validating his friend to her. He's saying, hey, he's a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. You know, I just want to let you know. Right? In case you didn't know, now you know. I'm with like a million people. I'll introduce you in a little bit. I'm with like a million people. He's, I'll introduce you. Right? In a little bit, we're like a huge party. Right? Again, he's validating himself. Hey, I'm popular. Got a lot of friends. I'll even introduce you, right? We're, we're a huge party. Come chill with us. Again, and this is all, as he said, in a not attempt to let her know how interested you are. Again, invasion of her space. So I take back any thoughts I had about you being like innocent and boring. Now, now, this is really important, right? Like she, she was giving him like a little bit of an attitude in the beginning because he was being, you know, disingenuous right? he, about where he was originally from. So then now he's apologizing for her to her. You're much more fun than I expected. I know. I'm, I was like being so mean before. Like, so she was like, and again, She's like, I'm, I'm not normally like this. Like, you just approached me with, like, some bullshit. And I didn't want to be rude, but, like, just be genuine. Right? You were mean. It was just like... It just Again, apologizing for her to her. Like, I think it took a minute to get to know you. You know what I mean? All right, so here, what are we doing? We're evaluating and creating narrative, right? So evaluating, <laughs> I thought you were so boring before, but now you're kind of okay. You're kind of fun, right? That's evaluation. In, in no way, shape, or form... Did he think this woman was boring? If he thought he was boring, like she, he would have left. But he was like doing everything he could to talk to this person. Whether he's using this as an example, or if it was just filming this for the purpose of using it for for streaming. This is not what you want to do as a guy. And this is why women act the way they do when you go out in the bar scene. And this is why I don't recommend cold approaches. Okay. Um, and it's building the narrative that she's winning me over that story that plot. How the fuck is she winning him over? What the fuck did she do that would that would win you over? She gave you an attitude in the beginning. She was disinterested about you know what you were talking about with Colorado. She constantly you know leans back against the bar. You are the one that's making every form of uh, you know touch barrier breaking. He's the one constantly validating himself, be you know about to her. You know, apologizing for her to her. In her head, and now what's she doing? She's called. I know I was being so so like um so uh, so mean before. I'm sorry, right? Coming around, admitting that she likes me, admitting you know. Where the fuck did she admit that? That she can be a real human being with me, et cetera, et cetera. And to be fair, she wasn't even. I mean, that did mean. I miss she it? Was, was it just not recorded? I've had girls be way, 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 way meaner than her. So. And and there are, and that's why you don't cold approach. Because females today can be rude as fuck. They're entitled as shit. And so you only approach women who, in essence, give you the go-ahead through a glance, a smile, a glance across the room. And when you're walking by and they kind of look up at you, give you that double take. Those are people you approach. You don't cold approach people. Because this is exactly why. You know, you get these... Women are used to guys with these not, you know, really bad game. Don't can't read body language, don't understand when the female is not interested. And a lot of females just, you know, don't want to be confrontational. They just want to go out and have a good time. They really don't know how to let guys down easy. You know, maybe like one of their friends will come and pull them over. You know, certain races get like really loud with you, at, you know, if they're not interested in you and, and whatever. And that's why females act like that, because guys just don't get the hint. Oh, whatever. But I'll take the apology. I'll take her. On top of that, I mean, even sometimes girls will be like, fuck it, I'll just give him my number. He'll walk away and I can go on with my night. Being in my frame, I'll take her chasing any day. Who the fuck is chasing who? And, and this is the fucking cake right here. He says, all I need for you to tell me one thing. I don't have a mirror. Okay. This is like... It says, this is not, this is like what I would ask my girlfriends. So don't read too much into it. I would ask 
But do I look okay? The shit test of the night. This is a shit test. In case you don't understand, he's thinking, oh, she's worried about how does she look. She doesn't give a fuck about how she looks to him. She's shit testing him. If I said you look beautiful, would that be cheesy? Yes, it would. I need someone to fix my hair. Is that gonna be you? Who who is taking advice from this man? Really, you're a fucking PUA, and this chick just said, "How does my hair look? Do you mind fixing it?" Get the fuck out of here! You must be bugging, and he fucking he does it. Again, he breaks the skin barrier and he fucking fixes our hair. He's a fucking beautician now. PUA slash beautician. So this is nice for a couple of reasons. Again, it's it's in a way you could almost be a and, and listen to his his this is fucking male fucking phone. This is male but, rationale. Some guys would be offended by this, but they go, this is what I would ask my girlfriends, or this would ask like a, a friend or whatever. Like, Why'd you call me friend? Are we not man to woman? Do you not realize I have a penis? Like guys I don't even care about that. The fact that she was like, do you mind fixing my hair? <laughs> Let's get like uptight about that in game. But um, really look at this. What she's saying, she's saying like, I trust you. She's saying like, I, I don't you. mind you fixing my hair, right? Um, she's saying- yeah, In case you guys, this is, this is what you want to be doing guys. Like, and honestly, do you want to go out, meet a girl and ask her like, hey, is my hair okay? Do you mind fixing it? Oh, we're going to jump ahead because this is- <sighs> So, given that things have been good so far, assume the best unless you have strong evidence to the contrary. There's been a lot of strong evidence to the contrary, my friend. Again, more validation, right? She just asked him, you know, how do I look? She's fishing for a compliment. A fucking alpha male isn't going to sit there and be like, yeah, you look fucking beautiful. First of all, alpha male ain't going to go through, through all that bullshit. And a guy who's used to picking up pretty girls isn't going to go through all that shit. But this is, he says, right? And honestly, in all honesty, I wouldn't have come over to you if you didn't at least look a little bit good. Like, that's what he means. Like, if you didn't at least look a little bit, you know, decent. Like, really? Is that your fucking, is that your, like, your standard? She look all right, whatever. If you didn't at least look a little bit. And then her reply is fucking priceless. I wasn't halfway decent, okay. I look halfway decent? Okay, good. Yeah, you're looking halfway decent. I mean, you did give me a strange look. I mean, kind you of... did give me a strange look, which kind of compelled me, but had you been ugly with the strange look, I wouldn't have come. You know what I mean? It's a combination. Okay, so this is... Like, wow. She was like... She, she, she gave no fucks. The fact that she was like, eh, I look decent. I'm getting you. You're fucking validating me left to right, and I only look half decent. And this is what I'm talking about. When you do this shit... I mean, I don't even care what she looks like. Forget about what she looks like. You can tell from her body, whatever. She looks like she's a little bit older, like a girl who's been at the bar, you know, for a long time. Her life, I mean. But who cares? This is, it's, it's relevant. What is relevant is this behavior. It's this behavior of why women act the way they do and why you don't want to act this way, even if you're a MGTOW, but you're still enjoying dating, or if you're a guy who is just interested in having a relationship, or you still believe in marriage, etc., please don't do this. This is important because I'm not denying that I found her attractive, right? Don't be that guy like, oh, I didn't find you attractive. What the fuck? You approached her. And what, you don't talk to attractive girls, and what, you want to hide from the fact that you like her in a sexual way? It's one of the main things you want to indicate in an interaction. However, again, it is not one of the things you want to indicate in an interaction. You going up to a female alone lets her know that you're interested in, right? That's enough of a validation. And the reason why I say when you go up to someone, you keep it short. Hey, what's your name? What's your number? And you keep it moving because you want to minimize that validation. The fact that you're going up to her and asking her for her name 
The fact that you're walking up to her alone is a validation. Then you ask her, hey, what's your name? That's a validation. You're inquiring of her because you're interested. She already knows. If every, there's no, unless you're asking for fucking directions, she or every woman knows that you're interested in, in talking to them and, and getting to know them and you're trying to get their number or you're trying to sleep with them, etc. Like, So to sit here and say that you need to, to state that, that you want to make it no, like it's already known the fact that you approached and the, but the fact that you feel this need to state these things of how interested you are and how beautiful she is, all it serves to do is to overinflate this woman. Just the fucking below air. I mean, we're not going to go there. Right? This is a regular girl. You know, I don't care what she does for work. It's irrelevant. You know, that that's irrelevant. Right? But this is what I mean. When you, when you go on a date, man, every one of you should be looking for a woman that has this level of of interest and the only way that you're going to maintain a woman with this level of interest is by minimizing the amount of time you spend validating her whether it's you know like the whole opening doors um taking the initiative to tell her how good she looks or to compliment her in any way on her looks or whether it's flower buying or fancy dinners, like all the shit is all validation. All you're doing is validating to her, her worth in your eyes. And you treat every single woman the same until they prove otherwise, right? If a person hasn't done anything for you to be praising them, like all she did was fucking show up. She's slightly drunk. You know, she's at a bar. She's a very friendly New Yorker, which a lot of New York women are. And this is exactly what you don't want to do. You don't want to sit here and spend time validating this person. I bring this up because I know that there are a lot of MGTOWN men that are still interested in dating, but they might be struggling. Or there's a lot of guys out there that might be struggling on how to approach women. This is not the way to do it. I've been watching quite a few of different videos from different PUAs, and they all do the exact same shit. They all validate. They all walk up. Oh, I just had to come up to you. I just had to come up and talk to you because you're so beautiful. And the woman is like walking away. He's like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Just give me a second. And they just sit there and want to talk their fucking ear off and hopes that this female will give them the time. Today. It's not a mutual um, attraction, but eventually they might break the person down. And again, this is this is not the 1900s where females will get to know you first, get into a relationship and then sleep with you or wait for marriage. This is the age where people go to the bar, they're drunk, they hook up, and then they get to know each other. So meeting women, getting phone numbers, and even sleeping with women in today's, in today's dating environment, it's not difficult, right? Because women sleep with you first. If you, if you just don't talk yourself out of sex and the woman finds you attractive, and, and you can escalate in any way, you'll end up sleeping with them. This is not, there's no fucking magic to this. And so that's what I mean. But in the long term, this long term behavior, and if this is the way you initiate conversation and you initiate with this sort of behavior, all you do is you validate, you validate, you validate, you validate, you put this woman on a podium, on a pedestal, and then she starts to think more of herself then she's actually worth in your eyes. And she ends up cheating on you, going out with somebody else, going up behind your back, or just leaving you all together. Or just, and the most important thing is, by the, at the end of the day, she doesn't respect you. And that's really what you want from the women that you go out with, is you want that respect that you deserve as a man. And I should not say that you deserve as a man. I should say that you, what's the word I'm thinking of? That you present, right? You present, you're the picture of what a man should be, you're reserved, you're not sitting there overly validating, you're able to um, quantify or qualify the person that is in front of you. And this is exactly why I say time and time again in every single video to every, to every one of you that's listening to this, whenever you're interested in a woman, if she gives you an eye, if she looks at you, she smiles at you, just walk up to her, and just be very straightforward and just say, hey, what's your name? Wait for them to say their name and just say, I just came over because I wanted to get your phone number. And that's it. And walk away. And if you do that, you'll interact with women who will be more like this into this picture, which is I know what a lot of you guys are interested in. You're looking for women to just be interested in you. But if all you do is consistently validate them they will not have the respect and the love for you that you're looking for. 
Take care. Thanks for listening. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing another one on this. Again, as a as a MGTOW, I have no interest in getting married, but I still do enjoy I still do enjoy going out, traveling, dating, meeting women from different parts of the earth, right? I go out a lot and I see the same thing time and time again. Guys that just use shit like this where they try to be funny they try to validate and it doesn't work it by and large doesn't work and all it does is serve to create you know pools of women that just have this entitled uh, mentality of constantly wanting to be valid this is why this is why like internet dating doesn't work because you just get these hordes of guys that are just like want dick want dick want dick like i'll take you out like where do you want to go like i, w- I would be the best guy for you etc all shit like that and that shit doesn't work females get tired of that they just want a genuine guy to treat them with the level of value that they have and if you're just meeting someone their value they haven't earned the right to have value in your eye and all you're doing is just beginning an interaction so please please stop validating these women in the dating market thank you